Number eight then from the 2017 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go, you're given a Diophantine equation here and it says use the Euclidean algorithm to find these integers a and b such that they form a solution to that equation. Well, there's only four marks here and you know there's just going to be piles of arithmetic because you've got to find the greatest common divisor of these two numbers. And I'd be no surprise that this number here must be a multiple of it. And since that's a prime number, it means that's likely to be the answer you're going to get. So, just start off the algorithm. What could be the biggest number that divides into both of these? Well, divide that into and see. If it divides in exactly, that's it. Well, dividing that in will be 1 times it, so I'm going to put the 1 in front. I'm not actually interested in how many times it goes in. It's more whether it goes in exactly or not, and if it doesn't go in exactly, it's this part I want. Plus, what's left over? Now you just start using your calculator. So the first part is 377. Seven. Now it goes down to this. Whatever divides those numbers must also divide this one, so I can take it down to this. The greatest common divisor is now down to whatever the greatest common divisor of these two numbers are. So we start again with those two. 1, 2, 1, 8 will be, now how many times does 377 go into it? If it goes in exactly, then 377 is the greatest common divisor. Well, we'll just divide it in and see. Well, it went in three times, but there's a bit left over. So taking away that 3 and multiplying gives you 87 left over. Now you start again. 377 will be, if 87 goes in exactly, that's it. If it doesn't, we just do it again. And it didn't. It went in four times. Don't really care how many times it went in. It's just the fact that it didn't go in. And so there's a remainder. And that remainder is 29. So now we check again with those two. It's down to just 87. It's getting whittled away. It's down to 87 and 29. If 29 goes in exactly, then that's it. 29 is the answer. And it does. That's three times it. 27 carry 2. So plus 0. That means the greatest common divisor of 1595 and 1218. That's the symbol for it. You can also emphasise it by putting it in the front. The greatest common divisor is 29. Now, the way the paltry marks went for all this arithmetic was... You got one mark for starting it off and one mark for getting the answer, for finishing it off. Now, to actually solve this, I'm going to start with this and work my way back. So it's just retrace your steps. So it says 29 should equal this. I'll just put the 29 over here. So using this line, because this would read 29, 29 would equal 377 minus 4 times 87. You can step back a line and replace this 87. So that's 377 minus 4 times, and 87 can be replaced by 1218 minus 3 times 377. That's why it's handy having these multiples at the front, so it's straightforward when you go backwards through it. Now, that's minus 4 times negative 3, making it a 12 you're going to be adding on to make that a 13. There's 13 lots of... 377 minus 4 lots of 1218. Now we step back up to the 377 and you're almost there. 13 lots of, now what was 377? It was 1595 minus just 1 lot of 1218 minus the 4 lots of 1218 that you had. So altogether you've got 13 lots of 1595. Minus 13, minus another 4, minus 17 lots of 1, 2, 1, 8, making A equal to 13 and B equal to negative 17. Now, the remaining two marks seem to imply you had to go all the way through that to get to this. And the final mark was for stating the values of A and B.